What's up friends, family, and everybody else? So today I went ahead and I splurged on myself, a little birthday splurge for myself, and I got a Champion's Path ETB. This is my first ever Champion's Path ETB, and I'm super stoked to get this thing opened. Um, I actually also got this little, um, I don't know, pack that a friend of mine picked up for me at Walgreens. I'm kind of worried about it because I barely noticed on the back that it says that it's repackaged. So we'll see if we get lucky with this. But this thing is what I'm really excited about. This is my first, like I said, Champions Path ETB. It's been so hard trying to find one of these. And the reason I said that I splurged is because I actually paid more than the retail, you know, more than MSRP on this thing. Uh, bought it from some guy on Offer Up. He did let it go for $70, so I really only spent like $15 over MSRP, you know, after tax and stuff. So I felt like that wasn't too bad. And it's actually the first Pokemon box or item that I've purchased that I spent more than the regular retail price. And so like I said, I just splurged on myself a little bit. Anyway, so I'm going to open this and these cards. This one does come with a Burning Shadows too, but I think I'll just set that pack aside and, you know, just go with with only the Champion's Path stuff today. So let's go ahead and get this thing open. All right, all right, here we go. Breaking that plastic right off. Um, I feel like it's always kind of scary buying this stuff on uh, OfferUp or any you know secondary site just because you never know if it's gonna be some like resealed product. But this looks good and that guy had a bunch of reviews on OfferUp that were all good reviews, so hopefully that's a good thing. So really like this ETB, you know, the black and the art style, the Charizard on the front. And of course, that's the chase card for this Champion's Path set is that Charizard. Um, so let's go ahead and set these aside. And we're going to open up the box. And of course, we know what comes in your standard ETBs. We got uh, all the cards over here. We got dice and little player's guide. I'm going to go ahead and just remove this little cardboard thing and set that aside. And basically, I'm just going to go ahead and grab all these Champion's Path packs. And then, of course, you know what? Let me to go ahead and take these sleeves out, too, because if we got any great pulls today, I'm going to be sleeving them with these. So set those aside, keep them handy. And then, of course, we just got our energy cards, our dividers right here. And then we got this Charizard. Pretty sweet looking Charizard V. Of course, what we're looking for, there we go. Well, what everybody's looking for is the Charizard from this set. All right, so now I'm going to set the box aside. And here we go. We got 10 booster packs right here, plus an additional three right here. So we got 13 total. Um, still worried about these ones since it says they're possibly repackaged, <laughs> repurposed. We'll see. We'll see how it comes out. Okay, let's set these ones aside and let's start with the first one. Actually, is Charizard an artwork on these? Um, nope, it doesn't look like it. Well, that's okay. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. First booster pack from my first Champions Path ETV. Oh, oh, it's stuck. Come on, there we go. There's your code card. One, two, three, four to the front. And let's see, we got our Fire Energy, Absol, Great Ball, Rotom Foam, Inke, Zigzagoon, Trubbish, Full Heal, Sizzlepede, Ekans, and we got a Galarian Obstagoon Hollow, and that is our last one out of that booster pack. That's actually a pretty cool and scary looking Obstagoon right there. Let's get a close up of that guy right there. Yeah, he looks upset. All right, set those aside, and what we're gonna do today is we're just gonna go, you know, straight through all these booster packs, try to get them open really quickly, and and you know, hopefully we get some good luck. Okay, there's your code card. One, two, three, four. All right, we got our energy. Team Yell Grunt, Victini, Arbok, Scraggy, Carvana, Zigzagoon, Kakuna, Roly Coley, uh, Reverse Hollow Zigzagoon, and we got an Elteria Hollow. Not too bad, pretty cool looking card. I do have that Elteria already, so. Um, I guess I got a second one now. <laughs> All right, next booster pack. Okay. All right, there we have that. You know what? Give me one second. I'm actually going to get a little bit closer with this camera right here. Let's see. 
Okay, there we go. I did not put the four forward. All right, let's still do that. Okay, we got... How did I mess this up? I don't know. I messed these cards up somehow. Okay, probably because I put that Milo side first. So there's Milo. What? Okay, well, we got Zygarde, Hollow, and our Energy, Sonia, Beedrill, Roly Coley, Zigzagoon, Weedle, Purloin, Pokeball, and oh, that's a pretty cool looking Machop. I think I have this Machop, but I don't think I have the Reverse Hollow. Um, he's a cool looking Machop, though. Check that guy out. Not too bad. Okay, hopefully I'll, with the next booster pack, I do a little bit better at opening that thing up. I don't know what I did there. I'm going to have to watch the replay later and figure out what I did wrong. Okay. I honestly was not paying attention because I heard stuff uh, going wrong in the kitchen over here. All right, so there's that code card. And put four cards to the front. Flip these over, and there we have our water energy. Uh, Absol. Uh, Great Ball, Pokemon Center Lady, Scraggy, Pokeball, Nicket, Hatena or Hatena, Swablu, Reverse Hollow Roly Coley, and we got a Senta Scorch Hollow. All right, let's get to the next booster pack. Next booster pack. Okay. We got code card. One, two, three, four. And move that a little bit. We got our energy. Uh, Victini. Hyper Potion. Rotom Foam. Nicket. Inke. Uh, Roly Coley. Sizzlepede. Purloin. A Reverse Hollow Absol, and we got a Gardevoir VMAX. Wow, that is a gorgeous looking card, actually. Look at that. It's a nice full art Gardevoir VMAX. Let's get a close-up of this. Obviously not the card I'm hunting for today, but still a gorgeous looking Pokemon card. You know what? Let's go ahead and get this one sleeved. I think this is worth a sleeving right here. All right, I got to get these things open. And let's see get this one in here if I can okay there we have it set that aside set these aside actually let's keep this this Gardevoir here close at hand and let's get to the next booster pack I'm gonna set it a little bit like in the corner over here there we go all right ah oh. Okay, there's that. One, two, three, four. And let's see what we got. We got our fire energy. Uh, Sonia. Uh, Kabu. Bead. Or Bade. I don't know. Hatena. Rock Ruff. Potion. Pokeball. This is a Carvana. Reverse Hollow Professor's Research. And we got an Alchemy V. I do have this Alchemy uh, already as well, but still pretty cool looking card. Okay, let's set these cards aside and look at that. We only have four booster packs left. Let's get this one open. Dude, I'm struggling with the booster packs from this ETV. I don't, well, I throw that one pretty poorly, okay? Throwing that one aside, there we got, what? What? Did, wait, did I already pull that out? I don't, was there not a code card there? Did I get scammed? Are these resealed? I don't know. Okay. I don't think I pulled a code card out of there. Let's see. How okay. I have three booster packs left. So I should have seven of these code cards. And I've been setting them all here. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. I only have six code cards. Oh no. And this one did not come with a code card. Okay, so let's put three to the front. Let's see what we got going on here. So there's an Absol. We got a Beedrill, Rotom Bike, Purloin, Pokeball, uh, Inke, 
Zigzagoon, Trubbish, Pokemon Center Lady, a Machamp Hollow, and, oh, well, there's our energy, but yeah, we didn't have a code card in there. And this is a Machamp Hollow right here. It's actually a really cool looking Machamp. Um, so there's this card. But isn't that weird? Why was there no code card there? Or did I did I take it out and not notice? No, because I still don't have enough code cards to cover how many packs I've opened here. I don't know how I messed that up. Okay, let's. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Let me see something. Let's look at these booster packs right here. Let's get a close up. I mean, these all are kind of uh, messed up. Definitely on the top. None of them look. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, I don't. I've seen a lot of car of pa booster packs that look as bad as badly sealed as these. So I'm honestly not sure. On the crimps right here, it's it looks like it's you know possibly been open and resealed. I'm not sure what's going on with these. Let's. I mean, let's just go ahead and just plow through these and see if we have any other weird issues like that where um, you know the code card's missing. Dude, I can't. Okay. No, there we have the code card on this one. There it is. One, two, three, four. Okay, there's our water energy. We have a Victini, a Machoke, Kaboo, um, Volpix, Trubbish, Roly Coly, Zigzagoon, Weedle, Appears, and we have a Dreadnought V. Okay, I mean, we're getting a lot of V's in here. Um, and a VMAX already. So, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I don't, I definitely never had a booster pack without a code card in there. Um, so that has me kind of worried too. I don't know, you guys tell me what you think. So here we have a code card. One, two, three, four. And we got our energy. Suspicious Food Tin, Pokemon Center Lady, Hop, Carvana, a Potion, Rock Ruff, Weedle, oh, and I messed that up, Swablu, Potion, uh, and a Hollow Professor Research. And then last booster pack. Okay. Okay, we got the code right there. One, two, three, four. All right, we got our energy. Uh, another Machoke right up front. Another Pokemon Center Lady. Hop, Roly Coly, Nickit, Ekans, Carvana. Oh, I messed that up again. Swablu. Uh, Machamp Reverse Hollow and a Marnie Hollow. Okay, I'm actually kind of worried just because of that one card <laughs> or that one booster pack was missing a code card. I don't know if that's kind of common, but definitely I always put my code cards right here when I'm going through and we only have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there is one missing. Uh, not sure what happened there. And I did notice some of the crimps on these packages looked kind of bad. Um, we did get this, this Gardevoir VMAX, so I'm I'm honestly not sure. I'm not sure at all. Um, I do still have these booster packs, so let, let's go ahead and get these Champions Path ones out of here. And I'm honestly not sure how I feel about this ETV. I mean, everything else in it looks in order, but that was definitely weird not getting a code card there. Um, so this ETV, or this uh, little lightning set, comes with one random card that is a uh, lit in, and then it comes with uh, three Champions Path Booster Packs and a Sun and Moon Burning Shadows. I'm just going to keep the Burning Shadows out of it today because today is a Champions Path sort of day. So let's get these three Booster Packs open and I, I don't know, let's see what we got here. I mean, these these Booster Packs definitely look better than the ones that were... Oh, maybe not this one. I mean, this one has a little issue there too, but... Okay. Let's get these open. All right. So I don't know what's going on. Okay, there's that code card. One, two, three, four. And we have our energy. Okay, 
Beedrill, Rotom Bike, Hyper Potion, Swablu, Inke, Hatena, Kakuna, Rock Ruff, Reverse Hollow Sizzlepeed, and we got another Zygarde. So that's my second Zygarde today. Second Zygarde Hollow. Set those aside. And we got another booster pack. There's that code card. One, two, three, four. Um, there's that energy. Oh my, I keep doing that today. Hop, Hatrum, Sonia, Weedle, Linoon, Carvana, Swablu, Sizzlepeed, Reverse Hollow Professor Research, and we got another Zygarde, the same exact Zygarde. All right, last boost pack for today. And honestly, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this. Definitely disappointed, obviously, because it's not like I had any pulls that I was really, really interested in. I mean, this Gardevoir VMAX is pretty cool, but I'm not the biggest fan of Gard Gardevoir as a Pokemon. Um, there's that code card. But also, it's just weird that that one booster pack was missing the code card. It makes me feel like I didn't get a legit ETB. Okay, so here's that. And then we have Kabu, Lipard, Piers, Machop, Roly Coley, Carvana, Potion, oh man, Rock Ruff, uh, Team Yell Grunt, Reverse Hollow, and we got a Dur, how do you say that? Duraludon V. All right, that's actually a cool looking card. Check out Duraludon V. And that's it, that's all we have for today. I'm not sure if we had a legitimate ETB or not, or one that was resealed. I feel like it couldn't have been resealed because it was in that shrink wrap. But I've heard that, you know, people have shrink wrap machines and can definitely get those things resealed. So who knows? I, I did get this Gardevoir VMAX, which is a cool looking card. Obviously, um, like I said, not my favorite Pokemon, so it wasn't too exciting for me. And then we did have the uh, that Charizard V that, you know, comes with each of those ETBs. So this is a pretty cool looking card too. But yeah, overall, a little bit disappointing. Kind of nervous that we had a fake, or not a fake, but a resealed ETB. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Uh, I'm gonna take a closer look at that ETB and all the contents and try to see if I could tell if anything was messed around or moved. I'm also gonna look at the video footage that I recorded just to see because I wasn't really paying attention because that, that booster pack didn't open that well. And I wanna see how it looked like or what it looked like when I opened it. Anyways, that's it. That's all I got for today. I had been planning originally to open a um, Shining Fates ETB today, but I ended up opening that Champion's Path one. Uh, so I'll save that Shining Fates for later on this week. Uh, anyways, you guys have a wonderful day, and that's all I got. Bye. Okay, so I was taking a closer look, and I did find that this box does look used, right? It's got like these scratched edges. And I think it was on the other side, you can see this is all scratched and scuffed up too. And if it was brand new, you know, the box is actually in this little sleeve right here. So how could, a, how could it have possibly gotten all scratched up like that? So I don't know. That's kind of leading me to believe that maybe this was a resealed product. So that kind of sucks.